Apparently we have some new gameplay for Sparking Zero. I feel like Sparking Zero is constantly getting new gameplay almost like every other day. It feels like it's been a minute since I've actually uploaded or did anything for Sparking Zero, but I keep seeing these notifications pop up, new gameplay here, new gameplay here. So I wanna see what this new gameplay is about four or five minutes or something like that and just check out what we have, you know? I'm always excited about Sparking Zero. If you enjoy the vibes, make sure you slide subscribe as it helps me and thrust my channel into the algorithm. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And let's jump into it. So I'm seeing this right here on uh an x right here new gameplay so let's let's watch this let's make sure i at least got like 1080 up oh she can i turn it up there we go bro they, it's like they keep on updating the models i swear to god oh my gosh is that um and goku I, I don't think they have they kind of confirmed if you're going to be able to use customizable items on your characters. I don't know. Maybe it's just something for me. Uh, I've always loved the Budokai games and Tenkaichi games and, and Raging Blast and like all these types of games that allow you to customize the base game characters. Not customized to the sense of like Xenoverse or anything, but stuff in there that allow you to add a little extra to your characters. I also I also really love it in, in games like um like Street Fighter and other games like Tekken where you can just customize your base characters to look a certain way. I just always think it's pretty unique and adds a little bit of extra flair to who you're playing with when you're playing online, what you can show off. You want to nod to different moments in the series. Like, that would be pretty cool, you know? Like, imagine... That shit just looks so good, bruh. Super Saiyan 3 is going to be one of the mains that I play with. I always play with Super Saiyan 3 in all of these games. They always make him look amazing. Um... But what, anyways, back to what I was saying. Imagine you're like Super Saiyan 3 or Super Saiyan 2 or whatever, and you have Goku's angel wings, right? That's usually shown off in, in what, uh, GT, I think. And then it also showed it off in, was it an intro or was it an outro that showed it off one time? I just think adding in customizable shit like that definitely adds a little extra touch and the reason I mentioned that is because the halo is on the character and it's also on the character model above like his his picture his icon I think that's really cool okay small little switch here Vegeta has some buffs on I think that Vegeta looks pretty dope reminds me of the Vegeta that we see in the tournament of power getting uh, against Topo Excuse me. <clears throat> Gotta love that Broly always hit real slow. I always like to know, like, I always love the conversations. Let me know in the comments the biggest things that you are, um, you're looking forward to with the game. Other than, like, just sitting down and playing the game, you know? And, and what edition did you, did you, did you buy? Oh my gosh, bro! For for everything that's been shown off, this has has this has to be the least destructive video I have ever seen about Sparking Zero. And then we get Grade Eight Vegeta. It's kind of odd though. I, I don't know if this has been your experience playing these types of games, but before you couldn't choose this like the same character in any sense at least i don't believe so so what i mean is if you had any vegeta on your team every other vegeta is unavailable to play with so it's interesting to see that they've made it that you can play as super vegeta well not su dragon ball super version of vegeta and then you can also have early version of vegeta in your actual like team list as well so theoretically, you would be able to have multiple teams of just Vegeta, or is it just separated by um, by franchise category? So if you play as a super version of a character, you can still play as maybe the Z version with them on your team. It just seems like the rules aren't applying evenly here. I'm sorry about me yawning, by the way. Is I'm tired as hell. I might be um a little I might be the only person in the world. I really hate this um like I really really dislike that outro. Like he's it just looks awkward. It looks weird. When has he ever like 
fitted his his vest. Like I don't know. Show, share me a link in my comments or something, or or DM me on on X. Show me where they he's ever did something like this before. The next thing I wanted to check out was this uh this training official training mode. And a lot of people was telling me, oh, this is gonna be from Dragon Ball Super version of Gohan. It's not the Dragon Ball Super version of Gohan. This is the Dragon Ball Z version of Gohan. And he, you just might be able to choose Goku's outfit as this version because the Dragon Ball, well, I don't know. I was gonna say the Dragon Ball Super version of Gohan doesn't have the little bang, right? The picture icon in the top left has the little bang in it so that is like from z right so this could just be an extra costume added to the z version that potentially switches up his move set or is similarly to how they did stuff in, in naruto storm series where you click on a character and you want to play as naruto the last and it has a different version of them somewhere in there that might have like a shared picture but then that naruto the last has um has the Hokage portion of, of Naruto as well, although they have the exact same move set and it has the, the last picture. So I don't know if I, if I was clear with that. In case I wasn't clear with what I was just saying, what I'm saying is that you may click on Dragon Ball Z version of Gohan in his picture icon, and then you just switch over to this super version of him that's adult Gohan that has Goku's uniform on from when he was training to be in the Tournament of Power, similarly to how you can choose the last version of Naruto from the movie Naruto the Last, and then switch over to a tab to play as hokage naruto and they may in the future add in super gohan as his own character but for now it's just a costume so that's why it's using the same image i don't know i'm just saying or this could just be base gohan or something well I, I don't know it's just it's a little weird there's only 40 seconds so let's see um here we go let's see what they're, they're adding in here Press key and fire blast. So I, I'm assuming this is off of the the standard controls now, because there's standard and classic controls. I know that. I like that there is an official training mode in here that's gonna teach a lot of people to play with the newer stuff. I can't really remember off the top of my head if there's been a training mode in everyone, like a proper tutorial mode, not just regular training or practice. Okay, that's hard. Yeah, that's that's hard. That's hard for sure. Anyways, there's there's your gameplay right there. I'm loving everything that we're getting from Sparking Zero. Um, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway just because uh, I, I I've done giveaways before in the past, but I'll let you know like in an official video or something for it so people understand and can like come and gravitate to the channel. You know, there's there's ways of doing it. I'm not stupid. You know, I'm not just going to say hey I'm gonna do a giveaway and then be nonchalant about it. I'll always have a way of doing it to make sure that I benefit from it and that everyone else can benefit from it as well. I'm thinking of something like two or three copies i've done stuff before where it's just one copy but i'll let you know in like my next dragon ball super video okay or uh sparking zero video so whenever you see that next sparking zero video i'll probably have made a decision if i'm going to do a giveaway and announce how i will do the giveaway as well okay thank you so much for all the love and support on my recent videos continue to show that as again it helps me and thrusts me in the channel and the algorithm and all that mess i'll catch you in the next one stay safe out there sorry this video is kind of a mess I'm tired. I just woke up and I seen that there was some gameplay stuff and I'm getting myself ready to go into my job. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Stay safe out there. I love you guys. I never felt like I never felt like